Hello guys, welcome to a new update. I've been lazy with uh, uploading updates lately, but uh, today is a larger update. So I'm just gonna show you guys what what's new. Uh, as you can see, I have added potions in the action bar. Health potion and as well as a power potion. And they are working as they're supposed to do. Just buy some here and we'll see how it works. And uh, key press is uh, R and T, R for health potion, and there is also cooldown. And if I want to use a power potion, there is T. And they give you health and they give you power. It works as I wanted to, so that's nice. And I've um, been working some on not allowing the player to shoot arrows while in weapon stance with uh, a sword uh, as well as not being able to use abilities such as charge, spin, shield wall while he's in bow mode uh, and I don't think... I think this is new as well uh, being able to shoot arrows is new so that works and uh, the red square you can see that's just for debugging. It's the hitbox. I have. Uh, I'm just testing around, and they stuck on. They get stuck on walls, kinda, and non-walkable tiles. I don't think I'm gonna bother making making any improvements to this, but uh, yeah, it works. It's nice. And uh, they're of course working. Whoops. There we go. Uh, you can also kill enemies with them. So let's see here. Poof, poof. Right now the enemies are very, very bad, but uh, I don't know. More HP maybe or less damage. And uh, yeah, I don't think there is. There is the little sprite. So when he's walking around with bow, the sword is in on his back, as well as walking with the sword, the bow isn't. Is on his back, kinda visible, barely, rather. And uh, yeah, that's that's the power potions and bow. Explain. Let's uh, move to a new level. I have two more levels, and uh, they're working progress. So let me let me just switch up. And here is uh, level two for the moment. Uh, there's a, this is a working progress, of course. It's not actually. A right answer to get to this I don't think there is to this teleport right here it's just I'm trying out the function and uh, what's supposed to happen here is the player is supposed to be sliding on the ice kind of like somewhere in Pokemon and a lot of other games when you play well, there's some ice cave where you have to move in a certain pattern in order to get to the destination so I'm just trying to implement that and uh, it's working. Player is sliding and uh, yeah, it's really cool. I'm most likely gonna increase the speed of sliding, but I'm having some troubles with uh, bugs at the moment. So I will change it later on. But right now it's, it's working, it's nice. And uh, oh, there was something there. Okay, I also have a few new tiles, like the ice of course, ice wall, snowman. These are supposed to throw snowballs at the player and knock him back. I haven't I have not been uh, implementing that yet, but in time I will. Uh, so they are bad snowmen. And uh, yeah, this is level 2. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the last level I've been working on, level 4. Uh, so let me just switch to that level. Uh, give me a sec. So here is level 4 guys. Uh, it's supposed to be a inspired map or inspired level by games such as um, Unfair Mario and those kind of games. Where there are a lot of hidden traps and obstacles the player needs to get by in order to make it to the finish line. So yeah, I'm gonna show you a little bit. It's still a work in progress. A lot more needs to be added. It's very, very boring looking right now. I mean, there's nothing. There are walls and there is 
floor. That's pretty much it. Uh, I've also been working on the sprites for the kamikaze, kamikaze uh, or suicide bomber rather, <laughs> suicide uh, NPC uh, a little bit and uh, they are now blinking when charging the player as you can see here, nice and if you get hit you're supposed to die I think it's fair to say if you get hit you die especially in a level like this when there is a lot of uh, uh, hidden traps and such uh, yeah that's that's what I'm thinking at least but right now you just take some damage uh, there's also spikes added into the game, uh, as you can see in the bottom right corner. If I walk on them, I will die, so I'm not going to walk on them. Uh, this in the bottom right corner was used for testing. Uh, but here we have, when the player is getting close to somewhere, where there are spikes, they will pop up right before he enters, gets into them, and then they will despawn. I don't know if I'm going to have them more like hidden completely because right now you can see that there is something in the ground uh, which gives you a hint that there is something here uh, and there's a cooldown of course uh, right now but uh, so far I'm gonna use keep them like this and then we have these boxes shooting boxes shooting arrows if you get hit by one of these arrows you you die uh, simple as that uh, and you need to avoid them or like move in a certain pattern or avoid them somehow in order to get to the finish line but this level is also a work in progress it's a lot more to be done it's very boring as I said in the beginning and uh, what else is there anything more to this update I don't think so I've been working a lot in, in the background of bug fixes and making sure everything works with everything and I can't show it because there's nothing to show there's just code that doesn't show on the screen but yeah that's also something I've been working on and I don't think that there is anything more to this update right now but I can show you if you <laughs> if you walk into these spikes you will die I guess that's I mean you just die but uh, yeah, thanks you guys for watching and I will make sure to put up a new update in a week or so. And until then, take care. Bye.